Hey guys, Arcane here from the future with a little conundrum. See, Doki Doki Literature Club is really sensitive to spoilers, and saying too much may ruin a pretty good piece of interactive fiction for folks who haven't played or seen it yet. The conundrum is that it also dips into narrative territory that requires a trigger warning, and even saying that may raise an eyebrow if you haven't played slash seen it. And a trigger warning that doesn't tell you what to expect is kind of like an ad for a movie that says, This summer, watch a guy do some stuff with another guy. Waggles eyebrows? You don't know. So here's a compromise. I'm going to show Doki Doki's detailed trigger warning from their own website, but I'm also going to make obnoxious noises. Join along, it's fun. Until it's off the screen. There's also a timestamp in the description below that you can click to skip right to the show. Spoiler warning in three, two, one. La 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 la, I can't hear you. Can't hear you. I can't hear what you're saying to me. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not looking at the screen. Nothing is seen there. Nope, nope, nope. nope. There's nothing to see. I'm looking the other way. I'm looking over here at this wall. This wall, yep. There's no spoiler warnings over here on this wall, which is why I'm looking there. Do, do, do. Yep. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. I understand the letter B. <laughs> letter B. I fart. Hey, I just got an idea. <laughs> I wonder if that would- Oh! I look forward to hearing what you think. Please step back. Thank you. Oh, okay. Hey! Um... This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. The fuck? Oh no. I don't have Sayori to break up this fight. <laughs> oh! It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Let's see. Wait. Is that music just incessantly playing in the classroom? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah! Yuri, woo, that sharp inhale. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Ark, do you like Oolong tea? Uh, yeah, he's my favorite character. <laughs> I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my, uh, m my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. <laughs> Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. Also, so your boobs are titanic. How do you uh, even deal with that? <laughs> Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Yeah, well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then, I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here! I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth! Like I'm visiting this anime scene <laughs> where it's like... With like speed lines and everything, I'm like, I can't stop here! <laughs> Look at that fucking tiny ass piece of chocolate! <laughs> it's like, it's like Hershey's did like a Hershey's minis. Look. We're American, alright? Everyone else has reasonable sized sweets and reasonable amounts of sweets. New from Reese's! We took a jar of peanut butter, peeled the jar <laughs> off, and then wrapped it in f chocolate. An inch of chocolate. <laughs> An inch of chocolate. Which also has peanut butter in it. <laughs> <laughs> New from Reese's, the ball of 
chocolate and peanut butter that you have that we seal you inside and you have to eat your way out of. <laughs> People would buy it. <laughs> Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um I do like how deep and watery these eyes look though. <laughs> they look like crystalline pools of things. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. <laughs> <laughs> that was sawing logs. Ark. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Ark. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Ark? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. I can now! Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Uh, uh, nope. Um, it's time to share poems. <laughs> you notice her eyes look kind of like they were just photoshopped eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Let us share with Monica. <laughs> Natsuki, you haven't been weird. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up. There's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Oh, the game froze. It changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just, just Monica. Skip. <laughs> no. Team Salvato! What? No! Just Monica, no. Just Monica. <laughs> no, I have to help Yuri. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Ark, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. Uh, you're too nice to me, Ark. I never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. There are certain things you don't say in these types of games. So, uh, she just painted the target on her. Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Ah ha 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 Goo hoo! Goo hoo! Goo -hoo. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Why did you pee on your poem? <laughs> Is uh, that even readable? Maybe? Okay. Nah! In case you couldn't tell, the poem was about hing a ding a More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I... I think I'm going to vomit. Well... Ark, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. 
It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, at least I have it together in the head and I know how to treat my club members. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's, um, effective. Here goes. No, you wrote an Atari. I don't spent I don't speak Ignignacht. <laughs> no. 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 It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? What about Ark? Ark is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like how it is. What are you trying to pull? It is weenie. I agree with Natsuki. Okay, then why not let Ark decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Ark make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Ark, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Jesus Christ! This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go with the girl who's fed up with the other two numbnuts. Yay! You picked me! Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Ark away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. This is really all I wanted. Ark, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, with just the two of us? Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I wish I hadn't named me Ark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Ark, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Ark. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Uh... Uh... Okay. Which one of these is me no die? <laughs> I don't want to make this decision. You make the decision. No. Take it. It is your. It. it is your name. No. It is your name on the character. I mean, you could say yes. Fine. Uh, you told. You told Sayori no. And she killed herself. But and if I, I tell her yes, she would kill think, me. I don't think anything you do in this situation. All right. Well. Uh, can you bring up your menu? Yes. Save. Can't save. Because you're already on save. Oh. Not that that seems like it's so really going to matter. If a deci if decision you make ends up with your death, and that's like a uh, bad end or whatever. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. <laughs> well. So yeah, boom boom. <laughs> that was kind of dumb, to be honest. She was dead no matter what we were doing. Is there meant? Am I meant to be able to read this somehow? Can you open up the dialogue menu? Oh. Whoa. Load. Yes. Load. Yes. Fuck's Load. sake. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's something. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought. <laughs> 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 oh, 
wall. No. Stop throwing up on screen. <laughs> I'm here. Ark, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you in here the entire weekend, Ark? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Uh, uh, hold on. Wait, what? No, wait, Natsuka. Not, not, <laughs> Natsuka in the Valley of the Winds. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from <laughs> tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. This should only take a second. She's Deadpool. I think she's more than Deadpool. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay! There you are. Hi again, Ark. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um... Uh, you know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you call him. I'm talking to you, Ark. Or... Do you actually go by Arcan or something? The fuck? You... Fuck you! You get out of my computer! <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't have the best impact that it could have had because she when I... She read your username. She read she? my username and Windows 10 fucked up my username and I couldn't fix it. So it's Arcan. If I had been able to have my username be what I wanted it to be, that actually would have fucked with me. But... Windows 10 fucked this game up. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? No, I figured that out like on hour one. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Did you? I wasn't reading that. Yeah, really. Well, I kind of started to mess with her and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. What kind of cruel game is this, Ark? I don't know, you just, you made it. Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Ark. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if I don't, if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, You'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. Whiteface did it first. In this game. Whiteface did it first. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. Whiteface. You're real. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I know that you had trouble even reading. I couldn't How did your first poem go? I like puppies. I put on skirt, jump, it's cute, I came. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. Ark, will you go out with me? Where? <laughs> To that galaxy over there? Sure. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Ark. I worked so hard for this ending, Ark. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. She's deleted all your shit, man. Oh, my shit's gone. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go to the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. Are you? I Hold on. can't really see it. Characters. Characters. Yeah. 
Jinga dinga jergen. Yeah, yeah. What does the history say? What's happening? Ark, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Ark. Go for it. Please hurry and help me. Help me! Did you delete me? Uh, no. You, can't, you basically told me to at this point. How could you? How could you do this? How could you do this? What was the, what was the... It was RPY, right? I think. Yes. You know, just in case. Do you just want to torture me? No, I want to delete you. Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. <laughs> you win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. Uh, no, you killed everyone. I killed you. You killed everyone else. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? Oh, my friends, I did so many awful things. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, so many selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. Where did you even come from? <laughs> I ruined it. I ruined, ruined it. Ruined, ruined it. it. Soiled ruined it. Soiled it. I put Sayori back. To be fair, you put in an empty shell of a Sayori with nothing in it. Oh no. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Hinga dinga d I hope you putting Sayori in there now didn't fuck it up. <laughs> like... Like, you go in, it's like, Hi, I'm Sayori, and this is Sayori, my... My mentally disabled sister. <laughs> See, now I gotta do all this meta shit. Oh, no, it's not- Oh, it's CHR. Oh. That makes me sad, it makes me wonder if something might have happened. They're not consistent. Also, well, this- Sayori and Natsuki's both look like what you'd get when you tried to open up something that can't be- like some kind of programming thing that can't be parsed. Oh well, yeah, like bar that. binary. Like we've got, but we've got like og vorbis, og vorbis zip dot org lib vorbis. Well, it's referring to actual things. No, I don't think it's. I, th I think it's just sh random shit. No, vorbis is a file. No, I, I know vorbis is a file, but I don't think that means anything. You know what? I'm gonna try it. Text document. What was her name? Monica, with a K. C-K-A no, or just no, K? No, just a K-A. Again. I mean, it's empty, I don't know, I don't know. Nope, get back here. You're not, you're not out of this. You're c get back here. Uh, I want you back, person whose name I have to struggle to remember every time. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. <laughs> Girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. I'm gonna keep checking that fucking character file. And then she's still there. I'm still there. Uh, characters. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and the little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! 
I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is very good. Thank you, Nasty. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you've joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Ark. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Uh. That's right. I know everything that she did. Uh. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Ark. Uh. Hee <laughs> hee. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. Uh. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. Uh. But none of that matters anymore. Uh. It's just us now. Uh. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. Uh. I can't wait to spend every day like this. Uh. With you. Uh. Forever and ever. F. O. R. E. V. E. No. Eh? What's happening? Who? It hurts. Ah. Uh. Sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Ark. Goodbye, Literature Club. Beer hurts in the rip. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry, Encoder. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And stuff. You're not Monica. I'm not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So yeah. Hmm. Nice. What will it take just to find that special day? Hmm. This hot MIDI guitar. Have I found everybody a fun assignment to do today? This girl has an adorable voice. Oh. That yes, delete, delete that. Delete that one now. Yeah, that is gonna get me on FBI watch shame. list. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> delete it immediately. Oh God, the embarrassment. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club with everlasting love, Monica. I mean, you could have just, like, how, it's like, how deep does the rabbit hole go? And just delete persistent. Delete Monica. Uh... Porridge. What? This? What is this? Oh no. No. This can't be it. This can't be all there is. What is this? What am I? Make it stop. Please make it stop. No, no, get back in there. Uh. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Apparently. It de facto went to Sayori being the president, and then she suddenly uh, became aware that everything was a thing, and it sucked. This has been Doki Doki Literature Club. Where everything sucks forever. Yep. Well, this game had its pros and cons.
Obviously, the dating sim writing was pretty schlocky. I Although feel like... I, I feel that it was meant to be. Yeah. To throw you off course. There were some things that it did that were pretty unsettling. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's... The shit that I was like... The, the creepy pasta shit. I kept being like... Like yeah, the blood coming out of her eye. And then, like, and then Yuri, and then Yuri got close to me, and she bled at me. <laughs> Some of it, a lot of it, I felt was was very effective. It, it definitely gave that unsettling atmosphere. But it was the ones that were a little more, that were a lot more subtle. Yeah, that's that. I think that's why the Yuri segment in particular was the part that was like it felt like too creepy pasta. Yeah. Because it lingered on it too much. And even creepier than that was of course the the mental illnesses cranked to eleven. Mm-hmm. Like I felt I feel like they could have played with that more quote played with that more. Um The slightly slanted room that was fun. Yeah. That I think was actually ever so slowly getting more and more slanted over time. And I do like I do like the I do like the meta shit where you can like screw around in your files and change things. It didn't feel super original for mm. especially for a horror game. Mm -hmm. Just because I think the thing that did it best was I'm scared. Mm -hmm. And I feel like everything since then has been trying to do that again. Do that again. Because honestly, the art style itself is effective in that because it's so cute and everything, it's easy to subvert it. So that works in the theme's favor. The dialogue itself was pretty uncomfortable. Like, the characters getting more unhinged. I noticed that as, as shit started going south, there was more swearing. Yeah. That, you know, which, that's an effective use of swearing, I think. Now, I, I have something to say about this, but this is just a personal taste thing. Okay. Uh, just, I feel like this game might have been more effective if there was a bit more adventuriness to it not mm -hmm. like a straight up adventure game but the ability to like wander areas and interact with things differently as opposed to just being a straight dating sim setup but again it was trying to be a dating sim setup and playing off of that rather than just being an adventure game your choices didn't seem to matter much at a certain point yeah the ending was good i thought the ending was pretty good actually i mean you know me, and I'm I'm one of those jerks who is like, in, when it comes to horror video games, I do like the option of getting a happy ending, mm -hmm. which I honestly thought was just, the ending was just going to be you being able to play through a bit of Doki Doki Literature Club in, a hap, in the happy format it was meant to be without Monica interfering. The only people in the club are you, Yuri, and Natsuki. What about Sayori? She obviously is just as fucked up as Monica. We That's had to a, be saved from her. The game specifically stated that it was because she was club president. Oh. Monica was that way because she was club president. So for whatever reason, the game was like, alright, you need to know that you're a video game character and that there is another world outside of yours of infinite possibilities that you'll never have. And the narc was murdered and Squidward will kiss it. <laughs> Honestly, in this case, I think the premise was really good. They just didn't quite deliver as well as they could have. The creepy pasta thing, but you know, honestly, that's a matter of taste. I'm sure some people. Is a lot of again. This, a lot okay, of probably... I know what this would have benefited benefited from. Benedicted from. Benedicted from eggs. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. No, um, it would have benefited from more artwork Reli yes, relying relying more on a variety of artwork to accomplish like to give you visuals to give you visuals because there's a lot of parts where it just would go black and describe things and it's like you couldn't have a picture for this guys oh i don't think it went far enough but they dropped these trigger warnings and then pretty much i didn't really see anything that was that bad like i can see if you're if you're I can see if you're really, like, if you really have some shit wrong in your life, like, you've got, you know, some, you know, like, abuse in your past or something, I can see that being, you know, something that might, I can see this being something that might set you, set you off, 
but honestly, like they could have they could have cranked that up a bit more to make it really, you know, like that's some for example that's something that Stephen King is really good at in his books. It's one of the reasons why a lot of his horror is very effective is because he's willing to just crank it up and just be like, oh, misery, um, pet cemetery, Ugh. um. What's the one about the vampires? I always get because I always want to say dance. Macabre. Oh, 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 uh, Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it, I, as far as I can tell, I think the game was made first before they added the trigger warning. Fair enough. But then all that means is that when they first made the game, they weren't even thinking about that. So they still could have just g gone. They still could have just taken it to eighty-eight and. Well that's, well, that's the thing about writing horror, you know, some, some people are Stephen King and some people are really not. But that doesn't make it bad. No. Um, you know, it's a it's a good little creepy experience. I can see... It was I a could... fun, unfun romp. Yeah. Where unfun times were funly had all around fun. I think, and I think it was generally going for creepy slash disturbing more than, like, straight scary. Yeah. Flawless? No, but I would recommend this game to anybody who's looking for a bare bones kind of horror game. There you go. So that will do for that will do for uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, which means uh, we're done with this. Onward. Oh. What the hell? What the fuck is happening? I don't know. <laughs> My computer. Your computer just. Every day, I imagine a no. <laughs> what the fuck? What is it's Why? Spotify? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop trying to speak, guys. <laughs> Why, of all the songs to play, <laughs> it plays Doki Doki. <laughs>